Welcome, dear viewers, to an enthralling expedition into the realm of carnivorous plants. From the lightning-fast snap traps of the Venus flytrap to the alluring pictures of Nepenthes, these plants showcase nature's boundless creativity. Join me as we delve into the fascinating world of carnivorous plants, exploring the intricate mechanisms that enable them to thrive in even the most challenging of habitats. Ah, the Venus flytrap, Dianaea muscipula, perhaps the most iconic of all carnivorous plants. Originating in the wetlands of North and South Carolina, this botanical marvel has earned a reputation as a ruthless predator of the insect world. Observe, if you will, the trap itself. Two modified leaves hinged at the midrib stand poised like a waiting maw. An unsuspecting insect, lured by the promise of sweet nectar, lands upon the trap's surface. The signal is sent. The trap springs shut with astonishing speed, the marginal teeth interlocking to form a cage from which there is no escape. Digestive enzymes, akin to those found in our own stomachs, are secreted, breaking down the insect's soft tissues over a period of days. Our journey into the world of carnivorous plants now takes us to the realm of the pitcher plants, a diverse group with an equally diverse array of trapping mechanisms. One of the most fascinating examples is the North American pitcher plant, Saracenia. The rim of the pitcher, known as the peristome, is often brightly colored and coated in a sweet, intoxicating nectar. Insects, drawn in by this sugary lure, find themselves on a precarious perch. The slightest misstep sends the unsuspecting insect tumbling into the depths of the pitcher. Here, a watery soup awaits, often laced with digestive enzymes and bacteria. Our next subject, the sundew Drosera, takes a rather different approach to capturing its prey. Imagine, if you will, a dew-kissed meadow, the morning sun glinting off countless tiny droplets. These droplets, far from being benign, are composed of a sticky mucilage, a viscous substance that ensnares any insect unfortunate enough to make contact. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the sundew's tentacles begin to curl inwards, drawing the helpless victim towards the plant's digestive glands. The digestive enzymes secreted by the sundew break down the insect's body, releasing vital nutrients that the plant absorbs through its leaves. From the glistening dewdrops to the slow, deliberate movements, the sundew is a master of its domain. We now venture into the aquatic realm to explore the remarkable hunting strategy of the bladderwort Utricularia. Imagine, if you will, a network of submerged bladders, each one a miniature vacuum chamber, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey. These bladders, attached to the plant's feathery underwater stems, are among the most sophisticated traps in the plant kingdom. A tiny aquatic creature, perhaps a water flea or a mosquito larva, brushes against these trigger hairs, setting in motion a chain reaction. The trapdoor springs open with incredible speed, the vacuum inside sucking in the surrounding water, along with the unfortunate prey. Once inside the bladder, the prey is digested, its nutrients absorbed to fuel the plant's growth. Our expedition now brings us to the unassuming, yet equally fascinating, butterwort, Pinguicula. The leaves of the butterwort, often brightly coloured in shades of green, pink or yellow, are covered in a thin layer of mucilage, a sticky substance that gives the plant its name. An insect drawn in by the butterwort's vibrant colours or the prospect of a tasty meal alights upon the leaf's surface. Little does it know that it has just stepped into a deadly trap. The insect's legs, antennae and body quickly become mired in the sticky mucilage, its struggles only serving to further its predicament. As the insect thrashes about, the butterwort's leaf begins to curl inwards, slowly enveloping its prey. These glands secrete enzymes that break down the insect's soft tissues, releasing a nutritious soup that the butterwort readily absorbs. Prepare yourselves, dear viewers, as we encounter a carnivorous plant whose very form evokes an air of mystique and danger, the cobra lily, Darlingtonia californica. Imagine, if you will, a cluster of tubular leaves, each one rising from the boggy ground like a cobra poised to strike. The leaves, often tinged with hues of red, red and yellow, are topped with a hooded structure that bears an uncanny resemblance to a serpent's head. This hood, 
far from being merely decorative, serves as a beacon, attracting unsuspecting insects with its alluring colors and patterns. The interior of the leaf is lined with downward-pointing hairs, creating a treacherous one-way path for any insect that ventures within. Exhausted and confused, the insect eventually succumbs to its fate, drowning in a pool of digestive fluid at the bottom of the leaf. Our journey now takes us to the tropics, where we encounter the awe-inspiring tropical pitcher plants, Nepenthes. These botanical wonders with their large, ornate pitchers are a testament to the diversity and ingenuity of the plant kingdom. Their pitchers, suspended from tendrils, dangle like exotic lanterns, each one a masterpiece of natural design. Insects drawn in by the promise of nectar or shelter alight upon the pitcher's rim, known as the peristome. The peristome, often slick with nectar, offers little in the way of grip, sending the insect tumbling into the depths of the pitcher below. The pitcher's interior is a watery grave, filled with digestive fluids and bacteria that break down the insect's body, releasing vital nutrients that the plant absorbs. We return now to the aquatic realm, where we encounter a carnivorous plant whose speed and precision rival that of even the Venus flytrap the waterwheel plant, Aldrovanda vesiculosa. This free-floating marvel, often overlooked due to its size, is a formidable predator of the microscopic world. Each plant, barely an inch long, possesses a series of traps that resemble miniature bear traps, hence its common name. A water flea, blissfully unaware of the danger lurking nearby, swims into the trap zone of influence. In a fraction of a second, the trap snaps shut, the two lobes closing with lightning speed to enclose the unfortunate prey. Once trapped, the water flea is slowly digested, its nutrients absorbed by the water wheel plant. Our expedition takes us next to the bromeliads, a family of plants more commonly associated with colorful flowers and tropical rainforests. However, among their ranks hides a carnivore, the Brochenia reducta, a plant that has turned its water collecting tank into a deadly trap. Imagine, if you will, a rosette of stiff overlapping leaves forming a central tank that collects rainwater. The walls of the tank covered in loose waxy scales offer little in the way of grip for unsuspecting insects. Lured by the promise of water or shelter, an insect alights upon the rim of the tank, only to find itself sliding down the slippery slope into the watery depths below. Trapped and exhausted, the insect eventually drowns in the tank's fluid, which contains a cocktail of digestive enzymes and bacteria. Our final destination on this journey into the world of carnivorous plants takes us to the heart of South Africa, where we encounter the Roridula, a plant that has forged an extraordinary partnership to secure its carnivorous diet. Imagine, if you will, a shrub, its branches adorned with glistening, sticky leaves, each one a death trap for unsuspecting insects. But unlike other carnivorous plants, the Roridula lacks the ability to digest its prey directly. Instead, the Roridula has formed a remarkable symbiotic relationship with a species of assassin bug, Pameridia roridulae. These bugs, immune to the Roridula's sticky mucilage, live among its leaves, feasting on the trapped insects. As the assassin bugs devour their prey, they excrete waste products onto the Roridula's leaves, which the plant absorbs. As we conclude our expedition into the fascinating world of carnivorous plants, I trust you'll agree that these botanical marvels never cease to amaze. If you've enjoyed this glimpse into the world of carnivorous plants, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more captivating explorations of the natural world. And don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know which carnivorous plant you found most fascinating. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders that surround us.